Miami style, so we expected it. And, you know, as the game wore on, we started pounding them. The, the talking was to a minimum. A lot of people, not too many people, except Alabama fans, predicted that we would win this game. But the most important factor was we knew we could win the game, and so we went out there and proved it to them and to the world. For Alabama coach Gene Stallings, a fitting way to end the season, 13-0 and and a national championship. Uh, I've said all week that our intensity level was good, that uh, when you bring this many people to a place like New Orleans, and you've got 11 o'clock curfew for three or four nights and nobody's late, uh, that tells you something. Uh, our practices were good. On the other side of the field, the Miami Hurricanes were totally dominated by Alabama's smothering defense. For that story, we go now to Roe Brown. They dominated the football game and uh, deserved to win, and they deserve to be national champions, and they should be very proud of what they did. Domination. The operative word on this night, at the line of scrimmage on both sides of the ball. Heisman Trophy winner Gino Toretta was a basket case. His first two passes of the second half intercepted, both resulting in Alabama touchdowns. Intercepted by Tommy Johnson. Uh, I don't know. Tell you the truth, I don't remember the second half. The whole game's a blur, really. I think they was messing with Gino a little bit, you know, trying to confuse him to get him the, the audible and then move back in the zone, and then we had to change up, you know, change our routes up. It was a rare evening. The Hurricane offense was held out of the end zone, and Lamar Thomas figures he knows why. Their defensive backs weren't that good, and they showed tonight that they're, they're average. They're just, uh, the front four just put so much pressure on Gino, he couldn't see the whole field. As time ran out and the Crimson Tide was ramming it down the throats of the defending national champions. Sports Center is brought to you by Bud Dry. For a beer that's refreshingly different, try Bud Dry. Welcome back to the show and the bowl season finally over. And with Alabama stunning Miami in the Sugar Bowl, Gene Stallings has come all the way back. Fired at Texas A&M in the 70s and by the Phoenix Cardinals before going to Alabama. He lost his first three games in Tuscaloosa. Not uh, one of our experts in New Orleans felt he could upset Miami, but all of them are singing the praises of the Tide in the wake of their latest national title. Welcome once again to our ESPN Bowl headquarters in New Orleans. Seen from a wall one more time. Chris Fowler, along with the coach, Lee Corso, the Pony and the Patriot, Craig James, they are wearing the ultimate message in college football this year, Alabama is number one. 13-0 now on the season, but only the third team in history to do that. The first team in a dozen years from the very tough SEC to win a national title, and it was supposed to be tougher to win a national title in that conference after the title game. So Alabama earned this title as much as anyone has ever earned a title. Gene Stallings with a $35,000 coach's poll trophy. He did not fumble it. Well, as I said a number of times, only in America can you be fired twice and end up winning a national championship or, or be a, the coach of the year. Uh, the honors, obviously, that will be coming in my direction uh, is a reflection on what our staff and what our team has done. It's a great feeling, and I know it only lasts a short time because when you look at the national championship teams and the, the coaches of the year, for some reason it changes the next year. And so, uh, you know, this is this year. And, We'll enjoy it for just a day or two, and then we'll we'll get right back into recruiting. Uh, as uh, one now as a head coach, two as an assistant, though. Alabama number one in the new poll. Miami dropping to number three. Florida State jumps to number two. Notre Dame four. Michigan five. Six through ten. Look at the two SEC teams. Georgia at eight. Florida at ten. So three SEC teams in the top ten. And Alabama's hundredth year of football league. I guess they proved that in a hundred years, not that much has changed when it comes to what wins games. No, Chris, they didn't. Alabama beat Miami the old-fashioned way. They earned it. They beat them Bear Bryant way. They just whipped them physically, man on man. As for Miami, Dennis Erickson scoffed at the idea that this was the end of a dynasty. Yes, he does lose a lot of players, but he's looking forward to having a young team back. Really, his first senior class next year, Craig. Well, you know, I, what I really admire about Dennis Erickson is he took this ball club through a lot of adversity. Think back to September when they had Hurricane Andrew and all of the things they had to go through as players, families, friends. They won back-to-back -back games against top 10 teams. They've done a tremendous amount of things with or without his own personal recruits this year. He's an excellent coach. He had them always ready to play. I'll tell you what, he 
he says that Alabama's going to be in the top five every year. Well, you know what's going to happen? This Alabama hurts one other guy or even worse. Auburn's new coach, Terry Bowden. He might not even get his own cousin to sign with Auburn now. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> what about the SEC? This is a conference a lot of us uh, degraded this year, Craig. Well, we started out the Pac-10 was really the strongest conference going throughout most of the year with Washington number one there for a while. Now the SEC rolls through the bowl season, and they've got Alabama as the national champion. The SEC is the strength and the pride of all conferences. And as we said it, Alabama earned it here in the Superdome yeah. last night, the first title since the Bear era in 79. That's it for us from here in New Orleans. Let's go back now to Sports Center. This bowl plant an apple tree to celebrate their love. This is Eyewitness Video. I'm Patrick Van Horn. More and more investigators...